प्रकारे की जय जय मंदिर प्रकारे का महान सफाई पर विचार तो प्रकाशन श्री श्रीमान सुदामे श्री सुदामे के साथ साथ का और महान दर्शन पर प्रकारे की जय आनंद Yeah. 
and great planets such as the Sun, the Moon, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter are not clustered together because of the law of gravity or any similar idea of the modes of, of the modern scientists. These planets and stars are all servants of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Govinda or Krishna. And according to his order, they sit in their chariots and travel in their respective orbits. Uh, the orbits in which they move, up, they move are compared to machines given by material nature to the operating deities of the stars and planets who carry out the orders of the Supreme Personality of Godhead by revolving around Dhruva Loka, which is occupied by the great devotee Maharaj Dhruva. This is confirmed in the Brahma Samhita as follows. Yachchakshur evas savita sakala grahanam raja samasta sura martir ashesha teja yasya kyara yasya Kanya Pramati Samrita Kala Chakra Govinda Mari Pusham Tamaham Bajami. I worship Govinda, the Supreme Lord, the Primeval Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, under whose control even the sun, which is considered to be the eye of the Lord, rotates within the fixed orbit of eternal time. The sun is the king of all planetary systems and his unlimited potency in heat and light. This verse from Brahma Samhita confirms that even the largest and the most powerful planet, the sun, rotates within a fixed orbit, or Kala Chakra, in obedience to the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This has nothing to do with gravity or any other imaginary laws created by the material scientists. Material scientists want to avoid the ruling government of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and therefore they imagine different conditions under which they suppose the planets move. The only condition, however, is the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. All the various predominating deities of the planets are persons, and the Supreme Personality of Godhead is also a person. The Supreme Personality orders the subordinate persons, the demigods of various names, to carry out the Supreme Will. This fact is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 9.10, wherein Krishna says, Maya Dakshena Prakriti Sugite Sacharacharam Ketu Nanenu Kaunteya Jagadhipa Bari Vartite. This material nature is working under my direction, O son of Kunti and it is producing all moving and unmoving beings. By its rule, this manifestation is created and annihilated again and again. The orbits of the planets resemble the bodies in which all living entities are seated because they are both machines controlled by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 1861, Ishvara Sarva Bhutana Pride Junatishtati Ramayan Sarvabhutani Yantarudhani Mayaya. The Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of material energy. The machine given by material nature, whether the machine of the body or the machine of the orbit, or Kala Chakra, works according to the orders given by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead and material nature work together to maintain this great universe, and not only this universe, but also the millions of other universes beyond this one. The question of how the planets and stars are floating is also answered in this verse. It's not because of the laws of gravity. Rather, the planets and stars are enabled to float by manipulations of the air. It is due to such manipulations that big heavy clouds float and big eagles fly in the sky. Modern airplanes like the 747 jet aircraft work in a similar way. By controlling the air, they float high in the sky 
resisting the tendency to fall to earth. Such adjustments of the air are all made possible by the cooperation of the principles of Purusha, male, and Prakriti, female. By the cooperation of material nature, which is considered to be Prakriti, and the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is considered the Purusha. All the affairs of the universe are going on nicely in their proper order. Prakriti, material nature, is also described in the, in the Brahma Samhita 5.44 as follows. Shristi titi pralaya sadhana shaktireka chaye vayasya bhuvanani vibharti durga ichana rupam abhyasya chache taste so sa govinda mari purusham tamaham bhajami the external potency, Maya, who is of the nature of the shadow of the chit, spiritual potency, is worshipped by all people as Durga, the creating, preserving, and destroying agency of this material world. I adore the principle, the primeval Lord Govinda, in accordance with those with whose will Durga conducts himself. Material nature, the external energy of the Supreme Lord, is also known as Durga, or the female energy that protects the great fort of this universe. The word Durga means also means fort. The universe is just like a great fort in which all the conditioned souls are kept, and they cannot leave it unless they are liberated by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Lord Himself declares in Bhagavad Gita 4.9, Janma karma chame divyam evamyo viti tatvataha chakva deham punar janma naiti mam eti sorjuna. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities is not upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. Thus, simply by Krishna consciousness, by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one can be liberated, or in other words, one can be released from the great fort of this universe and go outside it to the spiritual world. It is also significant that the predominating deities of even the greatest planets have been offered their exalted posts because of the very valuable pious activities they performed in previous births. This is indicated herein by the words karma nimita gatayaha. For example, as we have previously discussed, the moon is called Jiva, which means that he is a living entity like us, but because of his pious activities, he has been appointed to his post as the moon god. Similarly, all the demigods are living entities who have Appointed, who have been appointed to their various posts as the masters of the moon, <clears throat> the earth, Venus, and so on, because of their great service and pious acts. Only the predominating deity of the sun, Surya Narayana, is an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Maharaj Dhruva, the predominating deity of Dhruva Loka, is also a living entity. Thus, there are two kinds of entities the Supreme Entity, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and the ordinary living entity, the Jiva, Nityo Nityana, Chaitanya Chaitanana. All the demigods are engaged in the service of the Lord, and only by such an arrangement are the affairs of the universe going on. Regarding the great eagles mentioned in this verse, it is understood that there are eagles so big that they can prey on big elephants. They fly so high that they can travel from one planet to another. They start flying in one planet and land in another. And while in flight, they lay eggs that hatch into other birds while falling through the air. In Sanskrit, such eagles are called Siena. Under the present circumstances, of course, we cannot see such huge birds. But at least we know of eagles that can capture monkeys and then throw them down to kill and eat them. Similarly, it is understood 
that there are gigantic birds that can carry off elephants and kill them and eat them. The two examples of the eagle and the cloud are sufficient to prove that flying and floating can be made possible through adjustments of the air. The planets, in a similar way, are floating because material nature adjusts the air according to the orders of the Supreme Lord. It could be said that those adjustments constitute the law of gravity, but in any case, one must accept that these laws are made by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The so-called scientists have no control over them. The scientists can falsely improperly declare that there is no God, but this is not a fact. So I'll read the verse again. When bulls are yoked together and tied to a central post to thresh rice, they tread around that tree without deviating from their proper positions, one bull being closest to the post, another in the middle, and a third on the outside. Similarly, all the planets and all the hundreds and thousands of stars revolve around the pole star, the planet Maharaj Druva, and in their respective orbits, some higher and some lower. Fastened by the Supreme Personality of God into the machine of material nature, according to the results of their approved acts, they are driven around the pole star by the wind and will continue to be so until the end of creation. These planets float in the air within the sky, just as clouds with hundreds of tons of water float in the air, or as the great Siena eagles, due to the result of their past activities, fly in the sky and have no chance of falling to the ground. Om Gyan Kimana Sakyan Chum Sakaya Sakchak Surabhi Nandiyan Tazuma Shukri Vey Mahama Kham Paro Tri Vachalam Pangu Mangaya Te Giri Nyat Kri Patarama Deshu Giri Giri Thare Shri Prabhupada 